Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 15, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the uh, Great British Pound and US dollar, and the US dollar index fell significantly today and has been basically falling the last two weeks. So that, of course, uh, is uh, bullish for most of these currency parasites. As we will basically see. So we we're looking at the gravity pound in the US dollar, and as you can see, we basically round into resistant here at 1380, which is basically the 40 exponential moving average. We have been rallying the last uh, three consecutive days. We are trading just above the uh, middle of the Bollinger Band here, and we're getting very close to this uh, basically this channel. So we basically been been in this channel since uh, the end of uh, February when we hit these highs over here. So we may run into major resistance if we manage to get towards the 50 moving average and the top of the channel. If we break the channel, then we are going to basically target these previous highs again. Otherwise, uh, break down from here. Well, that could head, uh, basically make this head back towards the 150 moving average down here at the 1360. Taking in the gears, they are all turning around at this current stage. MACD is still in negative territory, crossing the signal line. RSI is bullish. CCI is becoming bullish, still in negative territory. And the stochastic is very bullish at this current stage. So there's quite a lot of room to the upside before this um, finds a major resistance. You can see all the way up here in the top of the bullish band. So we can look at the US dollar Japanese yen and we have basically found support down here at the 40 exponential moving average. So we have the 50 right underneath. So if this were to break, then 50 will most likely be significant support as well. So 108 to 496, that's where we'll find the 50 moving average. So if you look at technical indicators, they are still fairly bearish. So the MACD is still in uh, uh, positive territory, but significantly below the signal line. RSI is very bearish, uh, bearish, bearish, sorry. And the uh, CCI is very bearish as well. Stochastic is in negative territory. It was about to cross the signal line, but completely turned around and now is also bearish. So we'll most likely, if we fall from here, we can see that we're not that far away from the bottom of the Bollinger Band, which is at 108, 488, which is also the previous lows over here. So this is an area which we have tested in the past and uh, which most likely will be significant support. Rally from here will most likely find the resistance at the 20 exponential up here at 109, 508. So we'll look at the euro and US dollar. This continues to climb. We're trading above the 200 moving average. Yeah at this current stage, above the 50, above the 40 and the 20. And we are getting significantly overstretched as well. So we're at the top here of this um, of the Bollinger Band. RSI is significantly overbought. Stochastic is, um, the MACD is bullish. CCI is bullish and the uh, Stochastic is also bullish. So we could expect a pullback from here as we are basically at the top of the Bollinger Band and we are significantly overbought in the RSI. Um, however, if we manage to break about the 150 and the 100 moving average, then we are going to target these previous highs again at 12.18. So let's look at Aussie US dollar, and this has been absolutely hammering uh, it today. So a pullback from here is kind of expected. As you can see, we are significantly outside here in the Bollinger Band. So a pullback towards uh, probably the previous highs from yesterday. That's a drop of 0.87%, and that is all the way down at 0.76.63. 0 so uh, rallies from here, well, if we do, then the fall will be that greater. So I'm going to look for a pullback before uh, probably buying into this because it clearly is favoring the upside. We have found major uh, support down here at 150, but this is getting fairly overstretched, as you can see here. Two consecutive days on massive rallying. Usually, um, that means that you have a pullback before going higher. Technical indicators are all turning around and are very bullish at this current stage. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. So we did rally towards the 50 moving average and then broke down. So at the moment, we are basically testing an area which has previous been 
major support. So if you manage to break below this area here, then we'll head towards these very lows at 1236. Rally above here will most likely find resistance at 100 moving average at 1267. And yes, that is kind of, we're technically just doing the same as we have been doing for uh, quite some time. So oil did rally significantly today, and usually that is, there's a negative correlation between this currency pair and oil. So we are still hanging on here, and uh, that is a fairly resistant sign, to be, to be very honest. So if oil uh, were to continue, then we'll probably see a drop here. Um, however, if oil starts dropping again, then we could see this rally to the upside. Technical indicators are fairly, well, they're fairly bearish at this point. MACD has crossed the signal line indicating bearish momentum. So is the RSI, so is the CCI, and so is the stochastic. We're at the bottom of the bullish band here, so we could see a pullback before uh, continuing lower. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck, and thank you very much. Thank you.